I first learned about stop-motion animation through King Kong. You know, I was like born in like 1950, and I thought, boy, I wish I was born, you know, like, you know, 15 years before that or 20 years before that, so I could actually work in all the, the bad B movies they made in the 50s, you know? I went to see the film at Grauman's Chinese when I was very young, age of 13, and uh, I haven't been the same since. At about age 10, I started playing with makeup, and taught myself how to, how to make myself up like a monster, and then got into making molds and, and the whole thing. At the time, I had been experimenting with uh, uh, models, clay models of the La Brea tar pits. And of course, when I saw King Kong, I saw a way that I could make them move. I was a fan of like any monster makeup that was done, good ones, bad ones and stuff. Uh, but uh, I didn't really know how it was done until uh, s several years later. Well, I was born in London, 1964. Uh, I was a hor horribly precocious child. Parents weren't around so much. Entertained myself with uh, cardboard boxes and tissue paper and things. Made myself up as a various sort of weird and dicky looking monsters. I used to do some pretty strange things. I'd make myself up as some hideously deformed burn guy or something and walk around the little lo local shopping mall. You know, went around the shops to scare people. Because I wanted an audience, I wanted somebody to see this. My hero was Willis O'Brien. Dick Smith. Rick Baker. Willis O'Brien, of course, who was the technical creator on King Kong. Dick Smith, who was an East Coast makeup artist. Rick Baker, who is, of course, an Oscar-winning genius <laughs> of all time. And he's like my sort of mentor. Pretty soon articles came out in the Popular Mechanics and Look magazine of how the picture was made. There was all these, these, these pictures in Famous Monsters magazine that I used to read, you know, and, and uh, certain makeups would just like jump out, off the page. They were just so much better than the others, and they all seemed to be by this Dick Smith man. And uh, he's the guy that, he's the makeup guy. It happened that I had read Fangoria, which is a Fanish publication about uh, particularly horror movies. To me, he was like a god. And I, when I was 18, I was able to meet him, go to New York and meet him. And it was like, you know, it was, it was a very nervous 18 year old kid going to meet God, you know. <laughs> and Fangoria had said that Rick Baker and his team would be at Elstree Film Studios uh, making the film Greystoke. So I thought, well, Elstree Studios, Boreham Wood, outside of London, Yellow Pages. I first met Willis O'Brien uh, when he was working on War Eagles at MGM. Phone number for Elstree Studios, ring it up. Can I speak to Rick Baker, please? I called him up at the studio one time and he kindly spoke to me. Hi, who is this? <laughs> He's on the end of the line. And I told him my interest in uh, animation. Can I have a job? And he kindly invited me over to the studio. Come down and see me. Oh, I can't believe it. Down we go. On the bus. It's the funny, you know, sitting on the bus, going off to see a Hollywood legend. I get stacks of resumes and that, you know, people I never heard of with really nice work. You know, and people who said, boy, you know, I was really inspired by you when I was a kid, which makes me feel really old. And I said, look, you know, uh, I've done this work. Oh, that's uh, interesting work, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know it's no good, right? But I'll work for nothing, and I'll leave art college and come and work on this movie. It inspired a lot of younger people. They've, they've like learned from what I've done and embellished on that, you know, and actually you've become like some there's some really amazingly talented young people uh, that are doing some incredible work.